OMP is releasing two new M2 helicopters, the M2 V2 and the M2 Explorer. In this video, we're going to talk about kind of what stayed the same from the original, what changed, and the difference between these two models. Welcome back, I'm TJ, and just a quick note before we even get started, if you have supported us by purchasing the original M2, do not worry. We are not forgetting about you guys. So while the original M2 will not be made, the parts still will be. So we're always gonna support it in both service and parts. So now let's get on to the fun stuff. So the big overview for these helis are the flight controller has fully adjustable parameters. Uh, in the V2, there's been some changes to kind of improve the build and the quality. And in the Explorer's actually been some changes to lower the price. Now, one big thing that did not change from either one of these from the original is pretty much the drivetrain. So the motors are still the direct drive Sunny Sky motors. The main motor is your Sunny Sky R40-3 and the tail rotor is the R11-3. So you're still gonna get the same power that pretty much the original had. So now the flight controller, it's still the same integrated flight controller, meaning it has your flight controller ESCs, OMP's own receiver. Now there are still the ports on the top for DSM, DSM-X, and S-Bus. Now the biggest key features are the flight parameter changes. So you, you have pretty much full control of this flight controller now. So you can change your rates, your gains, your agility, midpoints, collective, as well as it has ESC speed governing. And still present are the three flight modes from the original. So you have the full stability mode, which I personally love, uh, the soft 3D and the violent 3D that you saw from the video at the beginning. Now with the ESCs, they are actually improved. So they put in a higher quality MOSFET with lower internal resistance, and it's kind of going to combine with everything for a better flight experience. The landing gear also changed. So instead of being the carbon fiber plates that are kind of bolted together, it's a high strength nylon that's more forgiving than the carbon. So carbon fiber is not really gonna bend. It's just gonna snap. This nylon will actually bend when you land or, I mean, you can, yeah, don't do that, but you can do that. Now, another really big change with both of these, and if you haven't figured it out yet, all these changes we're talking about are present in both the V2 and the Explorer. So this next change is the actual tailpipe. So in the original, it was just a carbon fiber tube. And in these, it's actually a high strength extruded aluminum alloy. That's a lot, but it's in, in what they're calling an inverted water drop design. And it just pretty much means instead of being a tube where it's gonna have some weak points and easier to bend, this thing is skinnier on the bottom, bigger on the top. It looks really good but it is super strong, very rigid, better design all around. For the tail motor mount, instead of being kind of like a metal sleeve that the motor and the tail fin and everything mounted to and slid into the tail, this one's actually kind of a integrated design with the tail fin. So this carbon fiber tail fin, motor mount with some aluminum plate, it's all put together and then mounted onto the tailpipe itself. So with the change to the tailpipe, instead of just changing the shape of the original mounting, which was two small plates, to kind of completely redid it. So this is what they call a six-sided CNC hollow something, 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 something. It, it pretty much boils down to it is stronger, it is lightweight, and it's actually gonna provide more of a reliable mounting than two individual plates that can move around independently of each other. So that touches what changed from the original for both of these models. Now let's talk about the differences between the two. Now before you even take the canopies off of these, Obviously the colors are different. There's 
three different color designs for the V2, three different color designs for the Explorer. We'll talk about those later. But in the head of both aircraft is the major change that you're going to notice. So for the V2, it is still kind of the aluminum that is present in the original that is absolutely beautiful. And in the Explorer, to help cut costs, it went to a carbon composite material for the blade clips, uh, the swash plate. There, there's a few other things in there that's actually a carbon composite material as opposed to the CNC parts. So that's going to help lower the cost. And then once we take the canopies off, you'll notice the first thing that stands out are the servos. So the servos in the Explorer version are made of a carbon composite molded servo housing. So while the internals of the servos are actually still the full metal gear servos, the casing is different. Whereas in the V2, the casing is a all metal CNC case. And again, between both of them, the internals of the servos are identical. So all metal gear servos. And with the canopies, they're still the high quality fiberglass that is absolutely gorgeous. The V2, there's three different color designs. You'll have a yellow, an orange, and a purple. The orange is actually an even more vibrant orange than what was in the original. So the original, still kind of the same design, but the first thing I noticed was this one is more orangey. I don't know, you can see. And then in the Explorer version, there's a little bit of a graphics change on the canopy. And if I'm being honest, me and a few other people here absolutely love what they did with the design on the Explore version. And the colors are actually going to have a green with kind of the blue splash windshield looking thing, the orange with the yellow here, and then the yellow with the green splash on the top. And inside the packaging when you get this, well, let's talk about packaging. So the packaging material for this has changed drastically. So instead of being the white box that came with the original, they went to an EPP molded design that you've seen with a lot of DJI products. Uh, the new Radio Master transmitter is like, the, there's a lot of people going to this design and it's absolutely gorgeous. So not only is it functional, it is beautiful. And inside this case, you'll get your three cell 650 milliamp hour battery, the same battery that was with the original that comes with both. And this actually touches for both. So both of them are coming in the EPP foam and the parts you'll get the three S 650 milliamp hour battery, uh, spare screws, some zip ties, one main shaft, one cross shaft, and like I said, everything is in this awesome case. Now, it pretty much covers the overview. We're going to be getting these into the hands of some guys that can actually fly them the way they're meant to be flown. What I love about them are they are still really great for beginners. I actually consider myself a beginner heli pilot, so I, I can do 3D on the simulator haven't quite gotten up the courage to do it on this yet. Now one cool thing is the flight videos you've seen in this video actually came from our counterparts over in China. Those guys are not only amazing builders, they're actually amazing pilots as well. And not only that, the, the filming of being able to keep up with these is pretty impressive. Now, if you have any questions, reach out to us on ohiomodelproducts.com. We'll be happy to help myself or Dan will get back to you. Now as far as release date goes, the Explorer will actually be coming within the next two weeks. So keep an eye out for that. The V2 will be right behind it. As with the original M2, all the parts for both of these will be fully available. And as always, thank you guys for watching. No matter what platform you're watching, this one's a little bit different. So if you're watching on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it doesn't matter. You know, follow us, subscribe, like, comment. That actually does a lot more than just make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. So that's what helps get our content out to more people. And by doing that, you're allowing us to make more videos like this and keep in contact with our customers, friends, families, all that, whatever you want to call yourself. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.
Now the landing gear also did change. So instead of being the carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, flubber, whee!